Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca Shores, and today I'm going to be sharing with you this Christmas holiday inspired makeup look. It's a green and red eyeshadow, but with a nude lip, so if you're wanting to not worry about your lipstick at a holiday party or Christmas dinner, this look is for you. Let's get started. I'm gonna start out, as always, with a base shadow. I'm using MAC Blanc Type on a Sigma E60, and I'm just going to be applying that all over my eyelid. Use any shadow that's matte and close to your skin tone. I'm now going in with MAC Mylar on that same E60, and I'm using this to highlight. So I'm gonna hit my brow bone. I'm also going to hit the inner corner of my eye and also the tear duct area. We just wanna add a little more brightness to our eyes. Next up, we are going to go in with a transition shade and we're going to be using blur and this is with a Hakuhodo J5522. I'm gonna be applying this from my crease and blending upwards towards my brow. I'm also blending it to a point on the outer corner. You're also going to want to apply quite a bit of this along your lower lash line and like be generous because we are going to be applying red later. These transition shades are really what's going to help us not look sick when we have red underneath our eyes. So make sure that you have some transition color down. I'm now going in with Melt Unseen and I'm using this on a Hakuhodo J146. I'm going to be using this more to define our eyes than an actual transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my crease and just above it again because I have hooded eyes and then kind of under my lower lash line and it's a little more in kind of the eye bag contour of your eye area rather than along the lash line since we're going to be applying red there later. We don't really have to do that. So make sure that you've got that blended out. I'm now going in with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pin in Black Noir and this is going to be a base just to make the green pop a little bit more. So apply this all over your lid and you can be messy here because we're gonna blend it out, so it doesn't even matter, just kinda of toss it on there. And then you can either use your finger, but I'm going to be using a Sigma E32 and just blending that out. You do wanna work quickly because this eyeshadow will set, so whatever type of liner you put down, move it around quickly and blend it out just into wherever the crease is. As you can see, mine's a little bit shorter because my eyelids do hood over. I'm also going to take that same eyeliner and I'm going to throw it in my basically tight line as well as the water line. This is just going to kind of intensify the look a little bit. Be gentle when you're applying liners here as always. And you don't have to be careful with this bottom one because we are gonna actually blend that down. I'm using a Sigma flat definer brush to just blend that onto my actual lid and not just in the waterline. This is going to help it so it doesn't really close off the eye and it's gonna make the red, again, not make us look sick. I'm now using the Typhoon and this is one of the duo chromes by Makeup Geek and I'm using a MAC 242 to apply. You can also use a finger here and I'm just applying this all over our lid. You don't need to make this run into that unseen color because we're going to have a green shadow that's going to basically sandwich between those two. So just apply that all over your lid. Make sure you're using padding motions or you will get fallout with this. Now, just to make this a little more cohesive, I'm going in with Dirty Martini and on a Hakuhodo J146 and this is going to go between that Typhoon color and the unseen. Because this is kind of a more pea green, it looks kind of ugly in the pan, but it looks really pretty on the eyes. It goes well as a transition between that warm, unseen color and then the Typhoon. So make sure you're blending that out well, and then I am kind of dragging that over the actual Typhoon color so that we have a nice, smooth transition. Now I'm just taking a larger brush and just blending that out. I'm not taking Makeup Geek Jester, and this is a more of a true green. This is a foiled shadow, not a duochrome. And I'm pressing this on the center of my lid, and this is just going to make our eyes look a little bit bigger and add more dimension. So we have a really bright green just in the center. Now I'm going in with Strobe Cosmetics World Eater, and this is one of my favorite shadows. I, I always look for excuse to wear it. And you're just going to want to pat this along your lower lash line, and again, Touch it right to where that black is so that you're making sure it's blending with that little bit of black liner that we drug 
along our lower lash line and then blend that out. The black liner is going to help it so this doesn't look sickly. Now I'm going in with Melt's Love Sick and I'm just going to be applying that so we have a matte shade between where the more metallic world eater is and unseen from Melt. So that's how it's going to work best. And I'm using a Hakuhoto J146 for that step. Now I'm going in with MAC Nylon and I'm going to be basically making our highlight more intense. You could skip this if you don't want to, but I really wanted to make this kind of pop. So I'm hitting the inner corner and then lightly on my brow bone. I now want a little more depth, so I'm just taking Enchanted Forest by Makeup Geek on a E36 by Sigma and just adding a little bit to the outer V. I think that ties the look in a little bit better. You could also use a black here if you really want to go ham, but I wanted to keep this very just red and green. Next up is adding some winged liner. I'm going to use the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in Jet. You can use whatever you want. Just slap on some eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and also add some mascara. You could stop at just mascara if you want, but I do like to pop on some false lashes. So I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes because I wanted something kind of dramatic and bold for this look since it's, I mean... It's red and green eyeshadow, so I figured we might as well go big. And that's going to finish our eye look. So we're going to finish the face with some of the Ben Nye Flame Red. This, you want to use a very light hand because it is straight up red. I'm using a Bogache contour brush to apply this. And as you can see, I'm applying it just behind the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to be blending backwards. But since this is quite intense on my skin, I'm then going to use a bit of Makeup Geek's Bliss. And this is almost like a transition shade, but for your blush. So a lot of times I like to actually use blushes in combination because then, as you can see, this is going to make it look a little more like it could actually be a blush color for me rather than quite so red. So red first and then this peachy over the top. I'm now using the Anastasia Starlight Highlighter and I'm straight up using my finger because again, we have that really bright inner corner highlight. So I decided we might as well have a bright real highlight too. I'm then putting a little bit of primer on my lips and then I'm going in with MAC Myth. Instead of straight up slapping this on out of the tube, which is kind of an intense look, I'm going to just pat this on and then use my finger to blend it out. I think this gives a really pretty effect and kind of lets your natural color shine through. Then I'm just popping a little bit of the Starlight Highlighter over the top and in the center of my lips. And that is going to finish the look. I think this is fun. It works definitely for a holiday party, maybe Christmas Day, depending on how glam you want to be. This is might be what I'm wearing for Christmas. Haven't decided yet. I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments box below. And I also put up new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so I would love if you would subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. You can also follow my social media in the down box below, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. I will see you guys later.